Backend. Active Backend is a ultra fast universal web app backend for making real time single page applications. Uh, to get started, I'm going to log into my account using the GitHub login. Um, let's first create a new project. Uh, uh, for this demo, we are going to create a task management app. So let's call it task management app, click create project. And um, yeah, to get started, we are going to create a React app first. Um, for that, we click front end, we select new local project and select the GitHub uh, template for TypeScript React starter over here. Um, then on GitHub, we can see this uh, starter and then click use this template and uh, call this task, task management app, make this private repo and create this repo. After we've created the repository, we're going to clone that and run the React app in that repo. So select that one, um, git clone that repository. Uh, now we go into the task management app directory run npm install and we can actually now follow the instructions over here. Uh, we need to create a .env file. Uh, so we run .env, copy that, open that env file of code and put in our uh, env variable. And now we can run npm run start to run the local development server and we will see the app has redirected us to uh, this uh, login page over here, which is the login for our task management app. So i Bank backend out of the box also provides a login for your application. So you don't have to build it yourself. Uh, first, we need to sign up. Um, and uh, after sign up, it automatically uh, redirects to our React app. Um, yeah, and um, now we can actually, yeah, uh, finish this one. We need to confirm that the app is running on port 30,000. So we just click save front end URL. Um, and next we are going to create a, in the schema designer, we are going to create a task table uh, to store our tasks. Um, in our task table, we probably have a title and uh, we are going to also have a timestamp for the created at date and also probably want to save the user ID on our tasks. Um, now it already asks us that we need to migrate our database. Um, so we're going to click the migrate DB button after adding everything, uh, click run migration. And now we can see in our data tab, the task table is actually there already. Um, yeah, now we can start coding locally. So uh, I'm opening a new tab with code in there and uh, in the app TSX file, we can uh, see uh, our React app, which is running here. And yeah, so uh, let's first create a component displaying all tasks. We can actually quickly see uh, it's, it's still missing the type signatures. So let's uh, quickly install that first. And for that, we are going to the IHP backend app again, uh, click on schema, uh, type definitions, and copy that comment here. And you can actually see it was last updated six, uh, one, one minute ago. It's always updated for every, uh, whenever we change the uh, application schema. So now I've installed the package, the type signatures are available and we can start coding. So um, let's make a component to display all tasks. Call it a task component. We are creating a new function for that task and it will render just the headline. And uh, now let's make it render all the tasks. And for that, um, we are going to use the use query function of IHP uh, backend. And we need to provide a query for that. And we are qu qu querying the task table. You can see the, all, the, the auto completion over here. We're creating it by uh, ordering by the timestamp. Uh, yeah. And um, then we already have the tasks available. So next we are going to do is we are going to render them. Um, so calling tasks and going to add a new task component very soon in a moment. Um, so that uh, new task component will receive the task. 
we also need to add this interface for the props as you can see it's the ITP data sync module provides um, uh, types for all the um, uh, records we have so we can just write our component over here and uh, just render the task title for example and uh, now of course we don't have any tasks so let's just uh, add it first task over here we go to the task table and uh, click add first task hello world select the user id and um, yeah we can see our hello world task is here now so that's already pretty nice um let's add a, a button to adding for adding new tasks so we call it the new task button and just um, add the function for that as well this will just be a um, button add task um, and to add some styling maybe add a plus yeah and uh, on click what we are going to use is um, we're going to call the uh, so ITP backend provides a create record function for all um, yeah, which we can use to add a record to a table. So we're going to call create record with the task on the task table and we uh, provide all the necessary uh, attributes over here. So the title we will use window prompt to ask the user uh, for title and um, also provide a file value just in case. And we also need to provide the user ID column. So we just use ITPs, ITP backends get current user ID function over here and um, now when we click add task we can just enter uh, hello and uh, you can actually see it automatically adds the new task to the list so you don't need to do uh, any kind of state management as uh, the use query automatically refreshes whenever there's a new task and they are displayed in order how we want them um, next let's um, also deal with updates so for for um, updating a task we we will handle this in the uh, on double click function uh, so whenever you double click a task you can just update it um, for that handle update make a function over here and we can just use update record to um, yeah up, up, update the current task we have here and uh, let's say we want to pass a new title and we um, enter new we are going to use window prompt to um, to ask for a new title by the user and use the existing title as a default and now when i double click it it will ask for a new uh, task name new name yeah and automatically updates um, so uh, to complete our app we are also needing a delete button so let's quickly add that one as well. Um, for that, we are going to add a quick button over here. Um, so we are create uh, this new component, the task button, which will also get. Um, We'll, uh, we'll receive a task and we're just going to render a button over here um, as a link uh, yeah that doesn't look nice yeah like this and um, on click we are going to use the delete record uh, delete record function um, of IHP backend to just delete that task by we just need to pass the task id and that's it actually and now we can delete the task as well you can create new tasks you can delete them yeah so yeah that's IHP backend um you've seen how we quickly we can build a to-do app in just uh, a few minutes uh, everything is real time everything automatically updates we only need to use the create record, update record, delete record functions for, for making that. And we are using the schema designer for making our tables and uh, pro 
providing auto completion and type safety to our application. Okay, thanks for watching and um, I'll try it out.